So one way that we see customers leverage AI is really to improve existing processes and workflows in their organization. And usually that starts with internal, right? If you're looking at optimizing something that you already have, such as creating RFP responses, such as maybe improving a certain uh, customer ticketing segmentation flow, all of those are great ways to start internally. One way that we're also seeing is this concept of chatting with your data, where we introduce a concept called retrieval augment generation that really grounds the responses of LLMs in actual documents that you have on premises. And then after that, after you kind of get your feeling of how to use Gen AI in your environment, that's when you would move to an external facing project, such as maybe a direct customer interaction uh, system. Yeah, I think the very important thing that Cyril just said is that a lot of this data that's powering the application is actually private. So HPE can specifically help your organization bring AI to where the data is located rather than having to bring your data to an AI, you know, a public endpoint or something like that. Um, HPE helps organizations maintain privacy and build private generative AI solutions. Can you maybe give an example where you've seen something like this concept that you described is basically data gravity? Have yeah. you worked on something like that? Yeah, data gravity when it's applied to the AI problem is just the biggest trend I've seen recently. Uh, one example is an RFP response generation bot. Basically, organizations sign uh, letters of confidentiality and, and agreements to be able to just bid on a RFP response. And they're not able to use those questions or use a public endpoint to answer those questions. Uh, and they also may be basing those answers based on proprietary information about their products and their services that some of which may not have been released or made public yet. So building you know, a generative AI solution that addresses the data gravity problem, it runs in their data center, really only HPE can provide that end-to-end -end experience.